hello everyone so welcome to the video and in today's video i am going to tell you how can you solve two important scenario based dex question that has been asked by the interviewer in the power bi interview question so i am going to tell you in very detail how can you approach the solution for them and uh, what like what what how can you solve that's it so scenario number 1 is that this is my table visual and i have four columns date reason sum of quantity and sum of sales amount and here so before uh, telling about the visual let me tell you about the data model so i am working with the data model uh, with the very less number of tables just two tables uh, one is my sales table and one is my date table so date is a dimension table and sales is a fact table so let's go back to the report view so as i told you earlier i have a table visual and uh, the scenario was that uh, as you can see i am having four columns in my table visual date reason quantity and sales amount and i have month name column so whatever the month data i want to filter i can select it from here and you can see this month name is uh, column is coming from my date table Uh, on the top of which slicer has been built so currently what is happening i am choosing any of the uh, month and the table is getting filtered out but you can see for some month there is no data available so if i click on october so i am having one date 5 october 2024 for october month but for november and december month i am not having any kind of data in my data model so if i show you my sales table let let's go to the sales table and let me sort it descending so it will give us the maximum date so i have the data till 5th of october 2024 and that is why it is not showing value for the november and december because there is no any records that exist for these tables but since like my month name is month name column is coming from my date table so if i find out the maximum date if i arrange it in descending order so maximum date is 30 december so it means that the slicer going to include all the month from january to december but how to limit this slicer the question was that how to limit this slicer and this slicer should show only the months uh, where the data is available so the idea is that Uh, it should show the month name from january to october only because october is the last month where i am having the data for november and december i am not having any kind of data so there was a question so how can you solve that so for solving it i will go to the data view and i will go to the date table and in date table i will create one check column so let me create a new column so what i am going to do is that i will name it as check and i am going to create variable so i will name it as latest date so i am going to pick max date available in my sales table so i'll pass here the date column so it will give me let me tell you what the result it is giving us so i am going to return the variable which is the latest date okay sorry i think i have made some mistake let it let it correct latest date okay yeah so here you can see for each row it is giving me the latest date available in my sales table which uh, we just had a look which uh, it was 5th of october so now i am going to compare the latest date because in each row i am getting the latest date with the help of max function so i'm going to compare date with this date column so if this date column is larger than the maximum date available so it should not include in my slicer so i'm going to return no for those records or for those for those dates and the date which is less than the latest date available then i'm going to include the month of those date in my slicer so how can you build a condition so i will write a if condition and i will write here 
लाइक माई डेट कॉलम इन माई कैलेंड इन माई डेट टेबल आई विल चूज दैट इज इट लेस देन द लेटेस्ट डेट दैट आई हैव स्टोर्ड इन द वेरिएबल इफ दिस कंडीशन मैट्स लाइक इफ दिस कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन गिव मी वन अदरवाइज गिव मी जीरो so that is let's hit enter so you can see where uh, like the dates which is greater than the maximum date available in my sales data it has given me zero for those records now what i can do i can go to the report view i will click here and i will like i have this visual selected which is a slicer i will go on the filter on this visual this particular field and here i will drag that column that i have made check column in my date table so i will drag this column here filter on this visual and here i will choose advanced filtering and in show items when the value i will show here is and i will write here one and i will apply the filter so here you can see my november and december has been restricted it is not showing in the slicer now it is working correctly it is just giving me the records where the data is available on not november and december so this is about the first question now let's move and solve the second question so the second question is what okay so let me tell you yeah so this is my table visual uh, let me increase the value for that so that you can see clearly okay so this is my table visual where i am having month name which is coming from the cal uh, date table region which is coming from the sales table and sum of quantity so what is happening now like what interviewer has asked the candidate that whatever the reason i select in a slicer so the data should not filter it must not filter but it should be highlighted so the question was that if i select east from here so whatever the uh, like values uh, whatever the where where there is where the rows where the east is present it should highlight with some color it should not uh, restrict the data to only the west region if i have selected west so it should not restrict the data to the west but it should highlight the west the rows where the west is uh appearing so how can you go about that it was a question of the interviewer so let's solve this so the first thing that comes in our mind is that uh, my reason is coming from sales table in my table visual and in my slicer the reason is coming from the sales table so it means this reason column in table visual and the column that i am using for the slicer is same so if i am having the same column in both the visual so it will restrict and it will filter the data for that particular reason only so i need to think about like uh, what other column i can make or what i uh, what other thing i can use so for solving this what i can do is that i can build one disconnected table that will contain all the values for the reason so the idea is that i will go here to the modeling view and i will click on new table then i will name is name it as reason disconnected now i can use make use of distinct function because what distinct does is that it returns all the unique records in a column so i will pass here the reason and i will close the parenthesis so let me tell you it has created a one column table here you can see uh which contains all the reason now what i will do is that i will just uh, replace this value this reason column which is coming from the sales table and i will make use of reason column that i have just created so the benefit of doing that is that when you will click any of the records since this my sales table and uh, this disconnected table is not linked with each other so it will not gonna filter the values for me right that is why i have built the disconnected table now what i can do is that i can write a measure let me tell you for highlighting the records where 
the reason is selected so I can uh, name it as conditional formatting and I will make use of variable now I will make use of let let's give this variable a name selected value so I can make use of selected value text function here which returns the value whichever is selected in the slicer I will pass the column name so I will pass the slicer column which is a reason disconnected reason column and I will also make use of one of another vari variable so let me give it name selected value in slicer and I will make I, I will make use of another variable and I will name it as selected value in table I will again make use of selected value and here I will pass the column that has been used in the table visible which is a reason column from sales table okay so let me tell you like what it has uh, what should I return return if my selected value in slicer if this is equal to the selected value in table then give me yellow color otherwise I don't want anything so I can close this and I will commit to this measure okay now you can see uh, let me tell you okay so uh, as of like I have I've did it previously but let me tell you uh, how can you do that so I will go here at the reason column I will right click and I will as of now removing the conditional formatting okay so again you will need to go to the reason column right click and conditional formatting background color so from here you can select field value and here you must uh, select values only otherwise it will highlight the total as well so values only and from here you can select your measure that have that you have built for highlighting the values in table visual and just click ok so see here it is not restricting or it is not filtering the data but it is highlighting whenever like I select north so it is highlighting the values with the yellow color where there is a north present similarly in east as well and north south west I have checked it for all the region so this was the simple but a tricky question that has been asked in the interview and yes this is all about this video and thank you for your time and if you like my content so please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my videos and share my videos to your colleagues friends and family members Thank you. See you in next video.